This week we're going to look at SFTP, a more secure way than just regular FTP to transfer your files. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Last week, we looked at FTP as a way to transfer files from our computer to a remote server. Though likely, if you went and talked to your system admin about that, they said, we really don't want to just use plain FTP. We'd rather use SFTP. And if you tried to use SFTP, the way that we used our FTP client last week, you found that it didn't work. So this week, we're going to see how to use SFTP. It's a little bit different but it also gives me a chance to introduce you to a new library that I hadn't had a lot of experience with before, but have found pretty useful. So the library is called Paramico. Paramico is a lower level library for another library that's built on top of it. And we'll look at the docs here in just a little bit. But for now, if you don't have it, you can always install it by running the command conda install dash c conda dash forge. That means to look on the conda forge channel. Paramico. So you would run that on your anaconda prompt and it would install the package for you. So to connect to an SFTP server, you obviously need your host password and username, just like last week, which I've defined as my host, my PWD, and my user. We're going to import Paramico, and from date time, I'm going to import the date time object. So what my goal here is, is to take a map that I've got on my computer called temp.png. I want to send it to my FTP server, my SFTP server. And I want to have it be named map and then the date, the year, month, day, hour.png. And then let's say that later when I've updated that map, I want to pull down that version that's on the server and then delete it, and then we'll add another map, let's say. So we're gonna see put, get, and list dir. Now you'll notice that the syntax for this is a lot different than last week because we're actually going to be using uh, the transport object and the SFTP client object. So first we're gonna define a port. My port in this case is gonna be port 22. Now let's go take a look at the documentation. So as I mentioned, Paramico is a library that another library is built on. That library is called Fabric. Fabric lets you do some high level SSH type interactions with remote servers. And maybe that's something we can look at in a future MetPy Monday if there's interest is you can start remote scripts and all kinds of fun things. But for now, we need some of the lower level functionality of Paramico, which is the SFTP client. So how did I find out how to use this library? Learning how to read documentation, navigate documentation, and use libraries is an important skill as a Python programmer. So I went to API docs and I searched until I found SFTP. And I found the SFTP client object. Up here, there's just SFTP, it's an alias for SFTP client. So then we look at SFTP client. And we look at the init, dunder init. And it says it creates it from an existing channel. The channels already have requested the SFTP subsystem. An alternate way is by using the from transport method. Okay, so that sounded interesting to me. So what is from transport? Well, we can click on it. And we look at this class method from transport. Okay, we see that it takes a transport object. So what's a transport object? Well, we can click on that and drill down further. This is a lot of object-oriented programming is drilling down in these docs. And now we see it is an SSH transport attaches to a stream, usually a socket, negotiates a session, authenticates, and then creates stream tunnels called channels across the session. Okay, so now we have some information. We can see what the, the call signature looks like of a transport. All right, so let's try to implement this by looking at the docs. 
The first thing that we're going to need is to create that transport object because we need it for our SFTP client. And we know it's going to take a tuple of my host and my port. Now we're going to come back and we're going to add some more syntax around this. It's not going to run yet, but let's just try to get the bones of this program figured out. All right, so here we're going to set up the transport object. Then we're going to need to create our SFTP client. Is that's paramico dot sftp client. There it is. And we remember that we needed the from transport method. And that's obviously going to take a transport. Okay, so it takes our transport. We haven't named that transport yet, so we're going to have to come back again and add some syntax and do some cleanup. We're going to put the file, list files, get the file, remove the file, and then we're going to list files. So let's go back and look at transport here. So remember, transport is its own class. And let's look down here, see what we might need to know. There's adds keys. We're not going to need to do anything with keys because we're just using a password here. We can set all these parameters like keep alive. Compression. But I don't see any of those necessarily that we're that interested in. But in the dunder in it, it says we need to use a connect or start client to begin a client session or start server to begin a server session. So we know we need to have a connect in here. So we're going to need a transport.connect. And I think I'm going to use a context manager. I like those, so I don't have to call close methods. So with paramico.transport as transport, then all of this is going to go in there. So tab over. We're going to call our connect method. And if we look at the documentation for connect, we don't have any keys, but we do have my user and my password. All right, so now we've got our transport object and it's connected. It's time to create our SFTP client. Same thing, I'm going to use a context manager here. So with that as SFTP, now we're going to do all of our file operations inside there. So put the file. First, let's create the name for the file. We know on disk it's called temp.png, but we want it to be called map underscore and then some date time. So we're going to use an F string map datetime.utc now. So when it is currently. And we're going to format that as year, four digit year two-digit month, two-digit day, and hour. So we can do that right in the curly braces and F is an F string, which is really nice. And now we're going to actually put that file. So sftp.put temp.png is our local name, and fname is going to be the name on the server. We're not going to worry about putting it in any kind of subdirectory. We're just going to put it in the, the root directory of this FTP server for now. Print sftp.lister. I actually really like the interface that Paramico provides. It's very simple, very intuitive. You don't have to know quite as much about the FTP commands like you did last week. Those we had to sort of have seen those or have an idea of how they worked. Uh, here it's more Pythonic. Okay, so we listed the files. Let's get the file. So that's bringing it back down to our local machine. 
And that is F name on the remote and F name local. I don't want to rename it. I want to bring it down as whatever it's called on the server. I remove the file. I'm going to remove F name. Let's print something to separate the two listers, and then we're going to print sftp.lister. All right, so that should be our complete program. Let's run it and see what happens. All right, so there was our files after we'd uploaded our map file, and then we had downloaded that map file and deleted it off the remote server. And if we look on disk, we see that this file is now existing in the directory that my notebook's running from, and it's not just on the remote server anymore. So this all worked. It will keep your system admins happier. And honestly, the Paramico interface is really nice. It's very Pythonic. It's easy to use, and the documentation is absolutely fantastic. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MapPy Monday.